good morning from beautiful Guyana. Home sweet home, I'm back. And today I'm right outside the John Finance Limited terminal at the back here, the back road. A clear yeah. container, you know. Alright. You would have seen me shipping the container with La Parkan a month ago. It's already here in Guyana. It took three weeks to get here in Guyana. Alright? Now, when the container arrived here in Guyana, and we got a lot of big trucks and a lot of noise right now, so I'm gonna have to go along a little before I speak. Alright, so once the, the container gets here in Guyana, you collect the documents from the relevant shipping company, well, that's the parking in this case. You have the document okayed, you pay the freight. Well, basically, if you're not a regular shipper, then you would not have a credit line with the shipping company. Like me, I mean, I've been shipping with the parking for many years, but 20 years now. So I have credit facility. So let's go this way. You pay for the container, the shipping of the container from um, Miami. The container gets here. So you acquire the documents from the parking. You have it okay to examine. You show up here by the terminal. You check with the customs department here. You hand your documents in and you wait. They're gonna come and they're gonna examine your document. The officer is gonna write up your document based on what he sees in the container. The broker is gonna fill out the relevant duties. Then you make your payments, you pay your custom duties. You come here, collect your container or they deliver it to your house, all right? So join me today and this is my man Roy. But my number one broker, you know, part of the Kisun number family. Number one broker, you know. What are you Kisun, <laughs> what, what are y'all service name? Priority Express Brokerage. Priority Express Brokerage, lovely. Uh, Richard Kisun and Divar, Kisun and Roy, Kisun and others. Up top, they don't know. Up top boss, right? <laughs> so we got in for a check of the container here now, man. All right, join me and let me explore yet another adventure. I'm in the terminal here. Get in my container and you can, you can get a forest and look of the operation there and the mice taking on the container from up top you know from all the way on top of this stuff there all right man so fish bro we got boats we gonna be fishing but the water the rain falling a lot the water high in the river so no fishing right now until maybe about august month and as i speak the rain coming down again all right, so I down here examining my container. Then I gotta pay the duties, and then once everything is done, you come back and collect your container. Three and a three. All right, so you make sure the the container seal when you get here. See that? Oh, it leave Miami. That's how it arrive here. Come on. That's how you open the container. Cut the seal, all right? All right, so this we can see here. Finally, they're here. All right, so I'm finished. Customs has to do their part now. They have to evaluate the container, and they're gonna charge their duties. Then we're gonna go and pay the custom, pay the custom duties, and then we're gonna get the container tomorrow. All right. What I forgot to show you guys is that whenever you finish the examination of your container, you make sure you wait and and look at them that they reseal the container. In that way, you know that everything is sealed back into the container. All right. Now we're gonna wait until tomorrow to collect the container. I'm gonna show you guys how we discharge. Next, as I am around George Dong. Let me give you guys a little tour of the new roundabout and the, the new road that we um, recently opened. And this board, this is we Harpy Eagle. Damn. Let me stop here to check a look at this eagle. Oh, this eagle look like if you feel cool. <laughs> All right.
Anyway, so this is the four lane um, road two up to down, which is a great initiative. It's a much and most welcome um, road, you know, to offset or offload the, the heavy traffic in the mornings coming into um, Georgetown. I'm not sure how far this road drive to, how far it takes you, but um, hey, it's most welcome. I've never been at the back here, so at least I'm getting a look, a forest look of it. You got a lot of land to your left here, but hey, if you're going to squat here, you know, or do some farming, I see some construction going up there. I wonder if this road takes you up to um, Mocha on the East Bank there by Providence. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm checking right now. Or if it, no, this is Echoes I think this run to. Yeah, Echoes. Oh. It's not a far distance, maybe a two miles. It's a really wet day today, man. It's raining a lot. Right. I want to believe this looks like Echo's industrial site. Here we go. Yeah, man. And one way to find out, I gotta drive out to see if it's Echo's. So the bottom there, oh that's the landfill at the back there. This is um by Peter's Alley right here. By the industrial site. Yeah, it's Echoes. So yeah, this is Echoes basically. This road is coming into the dump site. By the front of um by where the auto sealed here. Peter's Alley area coming in. That's the industrial um, site over here. Echoes industrial site. All right. So at least you guys get a little tour of the new four lane fancy road where we get. Speed limit 65 kilometer. All right. I'll make sure I maintain that. A passing through the Kingston Kitty Seawall Beach. And you can see there are some changes here right now. You know, to my. Um, your Tina here from Caribbean Flavor Sea Touch. See them minimize them. Man, let me buy Sea Touch here, man. <laughs> Lovely. But they made some changes to the seawall, and there's a lot of vending now with on the other side of the um, seawall here. You know, a lot of cards, little cards, you know. I'm buy Pink Shop, just be down here, man. Look what I made the man smaller. <laughs> Crazy, right over here. See? But as you would want to say, everybody gotta live, right? Everybody gotta survive. Give everybody an opportunity to um, to sell. I've been away for a good time, a long time, couple of months. February to now is May. Early February to early May, and I'm back here to see the development. When I came back to Guyana for a week in March, end of March, and then I went back. So this is new over here. They made some stands here. I wonder who are gonna be selling here? Who gonna get these um, stands? Not sure, but it really looks awesome, you know. Which is what we need. We need to unify the place, you know. We need to come out from the donkey cat era or the little road kind of stand on them thing you know unify the place and make it nicer i made a stop here at la parca and this is where you have to come and pay your freight if you don't pay the freight in florida or new york wherever you ship the container from you come down here in guyana in lombard street and you can pay your freight here and obtain your documents and then you go down to the terminal at the back of John Finance. all right so 
I go in and get my freight sorted out. You know, I haven't been here in a while. A couple of years I haven't come here. And this place changed up a lot. Now right at the back there is the mighty Demerara River. That's where the vessel would come in. The big ship, the cargo ship. Or the row, row boat when the vehicles come in, right at the back there. And then it transfer into the warehouse. But then they had a fire here sometime last year, I think, or early this year. Destroyed the, um, the, the bond, the warehouse. They have a lot of changes down here at um, La Park. And this is new to me. All right. Like you have, you have um, benches and things outside. Before time, you used to gotta come and go inside. But now, they have things outside, you know, you can sit and wait. I guess COVID changed a lot of things around Guyana, all right? So I'm going in. I don't know what to expect because I haven't been here in three years. I'm finally here. Look what I go on here, boy. 15 minutes I spent in La Parca and look. GT I know what about the rain fell so much gosh. the clouds are so dark boy and the rain coming again all right look at that rain rain and rain and more water boy all right all right I made a stop here at Gafur's on the east bank of Demoraro I get in a few things for the house and look I run into a fan here man what going on man Cool man, cool, what's the name? Cool. What's the name? John Du from John Maurice. Du. Maurice. Yeah, man. I love watching the ARD show. Yes, man. Appreciate, and man. Appreciate. Watch looking the ARD show. The video. You yeah, want to say hello to anybody up there? Hello. Nah, nah, the Borbies. All the folks in Borbies there. West Coast Borbies. No Bushlat. problem. I'm working at Bushlat. Bushlat there. Yeah, at Akbar right. Lombayar. Akbar? <laughs> Akbar Lombayar. Lovely, man. Lovely. So big up yeah, to the boys at Akbar Lombayar, yeah, man. Pleased to good. meet you, all right? Good. Take it easy, man. All right, cool. Good, all right. Yeah. So down here, and you get. From A to Z down here, anything you want for construction, household, this is the place. Now, I over here checking out one of my good, good friends, my long last friend, you know. And look, I got some followers in my What's going on, folks? How y'all doing? Doing well? All right. How can life get better than this? All right. Good to meet you guys, all right? Cool. So, in case all you want anything in here, pipe. Nice, nice bathroom and you know, all them toilet, bowl, toilet set, you have um, bathtubs and things. Hey, this is the place to be. Alright, couldn't get any better. Right now, I'm picking up a few things here, you know. And I've been buying from Gafur for more than 15 years. Alright, when I construct my building, this is where I get most of my stuff from, Gafur's. One of the number one spot in Guyana. One of the number one hardware people here in Guyana. All right. And look, look my long last friend here. Hi. What going on, darling? How I'm many? Good. How many years we date back? Eight to nine years. Yes. Eight to nine years. That's when I construct the building in um, Georgetown. Yes. Yes. What's the name? Stacy. St Stacy's mom got it going on. <laughs> no, but Stacy got it going on. No. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, darling. Pleased to meet nice you, right? Nice meeting you again. Yeah, man. I say you love watching the ARD show, right? Yes, I do. All right. I have you notification. I always go right away. And watch. Yes. You want to shout out to anybody? Who else has watched this channel where you know? My staff. Everybody for shout out. Shout out. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friend. Nice Keep watching. Nice to see you again. Same here, darling. All right. Then do come again. I will. I will. Okay. Take it easy, right? You too. God bless you. Bye. Bye. You got all electrical appliances. You have fishing equipment, you got some nice gas set and thing in there, you know. You know, all different things you have here, man. I look around to a subscriber here, man. What about that, my man? What's up? Yeah, life can't get better than this, boy. What's the name, man? Body. All right. Keep watching the show, right? Appreciate my man. Yeah, man. Thank you, right? Cool. All right. Yeah, man. Enjoy the day. Yeah, man. All right. So, I head home. I get my, my things here. I had him back to the house, you know. I was doing my little plumbing walk, I think, you know. <laughs> All right. And look, a lot of parking available here, man. So the, the Gafur store hardware used to be by Magdum on the other side there, man, but it's by the river, river side, the river front. But they move from there and they come to the eastern side of these bank road now. All right. So it's not 
hard to find here i think here is better have more parking have more um you know facilities here man more spacious all right so this is the big uh, food store here man another day good morning hope you guys are doing well today it's friday and thank god it's friday i'm heading down to la parkin once again this time around they're going to clear some clothing some used clothing that was sent by my friend Yasmin Muhammad from New York so I finished paying examining the two bins and the barrel that was sent by Yasmin I want to say thanks to the people at custom the nice lady there the officer in charge she was very helpful and she's a new subscriber too because I ask her to subscribe to the channel welcome to the channel darling tomorrow morning I buy fish brew and I we're gonna come here and pick up the bins and we're gonna head to St. Cutsburg Mission on Monday we're gonna get the um, container all right so the goodness continue and look the man in there priority priority service look at that boy Richard <laughs> That's my priority express man. Alright, so hey, the goodness continue. Good morning. Another beautiful sunshine day here in Georgetown, Guyana. And look across here, what's going on, mate? You guys fishing now, bro? Yeah. Fishing? I mean you're fishing, you're fishing. Look what's going on there, mate. Water and our orange juice and um what is drill, but drink them chubby. I'm beyond make sure y'all check out this man, you know, pro auto seal, right? This is my right here, fish pro. You want truck, you want van, pick up, check this man out. Good things, you know. We're going into the park and now we're going to pick up the boxes and the barrel and we're heading into Bakuri Mission. All right? I don't hear by my girl Tai Chi once again, picking up my stuff. So I'm here at the park and, and um, you know, this is what it looks like here. They have a lot of barrels and boxes, you know. This is where the air cargo, some of it come in and they, um, some of the ocean cargo as well. It's the middle bond, they have one at the back and then they have one at the front there. All right, so I'm here to get released to pick up the stuff to take the Pakuri. So I'm at the back at the wharf here and that right over there is the mighty Demerara River. All right, and this is the operation at the back here, but you see the, the bond that burnt down sometime early this year. So we got to talk to these guys and we're gonna get our stuff now. Hey, I'm at the back here and look who we're running to. Hi. One of my number one fan here, right? <laughs> and you told me it'll be watching yes. the channel. Yes, we every watch when? It every Saturday every... when we eat lunch. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> and you want to do some shout outs? Yes, um, I like to say hi. Well, shout out to my husband, Vikash right. Ramsunder, my two sons, Brandon and Dimitri. Lovely. And you said your husband is Shatman cousin. Shatman cousin, yes. Bye bye, Shatman, Bisham. <laughs> Family, le, 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 <laughs> all right, all, it was a pleasure meeting you, right? Yeah, and thank you so much for, for watching the channel, all right? I really appreciate it. All right. So, we get to meet stuff there, boy. All right, so there's two of those bins along with a barrel. My man here, you know, me and his man are so long now, you know, since like forever. And I've been shipping with La Parkin for more than 20 years now, all right. So we're loading up the second bin here and this is a lot a lot of stuff Look what's going on here by look what's going on here by Pachoni Levan Giblet Come on Arjun there Mikey Spice and look the man himself the man responsible for this plate here the man fish bro Alright and the lovely wife Andre Andrea and Mabai Ryan, they're across the table. Yeah, man, thanks. We fully loaded. We take a lunch break. It's lunchtime now. So, when we hit the trail, it's like a three hours to get to Pakuri. So, you don't want to stop again. So, we stop in now. We're having a little snack, say, some nice lunch. Nothing beat a Saturday in George, Tonga, Yana, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man good. This man good, man. Can life get any better than this, eh? Pachoni. On a Saturday morning, by Anna Jackson, life can get better than this. What's your fellow, Josh? Lucky, what's your food? 
Like what else? Like you say things like what else? How is food by? The zuko fish bro or agria or a combination? Can we let you cook? Fish bro. Fish bro alone? I help. You assist. Help? Okay. Okay. Yes. So the combination I cook right? <laughs> From here, Akuri Mission. The goodness and the journey continue. All right, so we there on the trail here. Is, it says they're welcome to Pakuri, and I want to show you guys how you get cashew nut. All right, the gentleman across here told me that this fruit does get like pinkish, yellowish, you know, different color. And there's a tree here, and when this fruit right, right, you get one, you get one nut. You get the, one of the cashew nuts from it. First time I see it bear down here. Alright, so we passing through. And then my trash they might they might trash back they truly shed them there by looking good. I hope them fix up the bathroom. Yeah, come here hang out, you know, there's another hangout spot. You got a little bar here, you got some cold beer. Man, couldn't get better. And my buy fish bro they up ahead there, you know, in a distance. Alright. Alright, so we on the mission here. Maya, I come late. The, the Katahari tree, somebody pick out the Katahari already. No sarapple, even. I see some nice fowl across the yard, fowl, you know. So, you know, some of the residents them come out here with the kids and thing, you know. And we're gonna get somebody, hi, hi, what's up? We're gonna get some of the fellas and to give us a hand to offload this stuff there, all right? Feels so good to be here, except for the smoke. Somebody burning something over there. All right. First lady, would you like to eat breadfruit and fried lakonani? Yes. Look up there. I saw two breadfruit. <laughs> one for you and one for me, don't worry. <laughs> hey, life is good, man. It's awesome. You gotta offload the stuff, you know. There's a lot, a lot of good stuff, you know. Clothing, baby clothing, kids' toys. Um, books, you know, a lot of stuff. So, Yasmin, thank you very much, darling. Your contribution will definitely make an impact here to the residents here in Pakuri Mission. All right? Because we have some of the, some of the uh, residents gathered here already, but we told them to come here for 2 o'clock, and now it's only 1 40, so more of them are going to come out here in another 20 minutes. We got a truckload of stuff here. All right? All right, so the books are gonna go towards the library here in the mission. All the books that you sent, and the toy is gonna go to the play. Right in the library has a play, play center as well. Here, Tashawa is gonna give a vote of thanks, thanking the donors for today's um, contribution here to the folks here in the mission. All right. So, all right. Tashawa, yeah, go ahead. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Danny Fassad is here again to give to us freely right and we should all be grateful and thankful this is not the first time this is not the second time this is not the third time and i know this is not the last time either all right definitely yeah. and on behalf of the people of st cuthbert's mission we say many thanks to you and your team uh, for what you have been doing for um, for our community and this here is definitely um you know a great great initiative um again thank you very much and i know can we just raise our hand and say thanks to yeah you guys are very welcome yeah. yes well uh, you are very welcome to show to all the residents you guys are very welcome as to show what i've mentioned this is not the first time and this will be the last and i also want to say a special thank you to yasmin muhammad the lady who donated um this clothing thank you darling to you and your team and your family May Allah continue to bless you, all right? May God bless you. And at least you can see here that your, your initiative, your contribution is being distributed or are being distributed among the people here. Where is the guy with uh, the has to get a wheelchair? Uncle John? Hello? Yes. And this is the football team right here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Is Uncle John your name? Okay, soon. So, a nice lady from the US would have sent this wheelchair for you, alright? Her name is Yasmin Mohammed. 
that and this for your bathroom in case you want to install it in your bathroom so when you go in you can hold on to um to take your shower and stuff right so if you want to say thank you to yasmin you can go right ahead and do that oh, I have to say thank you yasmin for the wheelchair and the rest of the thing all right and god bless you more thank you so yasmin you have heard it there the gentleman has said thank you to you i mean his voice is a little bit low but um i hope you heard, heard him he's, he's saying thank you very much for all of you've contributed for him all right may god bless you time for we go and take a dip by the creek you know you can't come to pakuri mission and don't go to the creek so we're heading down to the creek bottom there we're gonna do we thing all right look my boy arjun where you got there boy coffee over we had a coffee break this man looks the finest bourbon boy single barrel is it blanton or what blanton, yes. i think so it's a blanton yeah mm -hmm. Whoa, big things by my boy alwyn fields use a man that's got good things you know artilleries yeah, take a shot for you, buddy, believe Yeah, but yeah, take a shot for the man there. Now you could take the man out of the bush, but you can't take the bush out of the man. And same goes to the fisherman here. <laughs> you could take the man out of the water, but you can't take him out. You can't take the water out of here, fishing by. Alright. And here comes Guyana's newest YouTuber, Hannah from Guyana. I have Hannah and family and friends. How y'all doing? Hi, Welcome to Pakuri. <laughs> and guys, yeah, please check out Hannah's channel. Hannah from Guyana. Farm life. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that amazing? This dog been swimming for the last. What's the distance like? About what? Like uh, maybe about, how about years? Meter. Wow. Average, uh, one, two, three. Look at that. This dog. Coral just been swimming all the time from let's say about a thousand feet. Wow. Isn't that amazing? This man is a, this man should get a gold medal for or an Olympic medal for swimming body watch. Yeah, you have got a color, a Olympic color boy. Look at that. There is Cuddle. Swam all the way. Coming over. Hey, well done, buddy. Well done. All right. No, Reach back with the family here. No, no, we shake it up. <laughs> all right. So, hey, life is good. We try nothing. We fishing here. We meet up with Hannah and Hannah's parents and her cousins. Hey, we're having a good time. How many of the kids these days can do this? When I grew up, I used to be walking on trees and rails like this. And look, look at these two young ladies. Hi. And a man over there. And look, they're going to, oh, they're turning back. I thought they were going to pass each other. And you guess they're walking on a three inches width or maybe four inches. Look at that. Yeah, that's about four inches they're walking on. And that takes a special set of skills. All right. And Mr. and Mistress Pro, what's going on? Y'all tired, boy? Y'all tired? Relaxing. All right, they're relaxing under the bamboo tree. No problem, man. Y'all enjoying the day? All right, all right. Life can get better. And look, and you just wake up there. And look where your shorts say, girl. How can life get better than this? Look where you I said, we see alligator. I got... Oh, that's a dolphin. That's the alligator. It's a dolphin. <laughs> Life can't get better than this, by the man. You know, I thought it was an alligator just now. <laughs> then all I see is a dolphin swimming. <laughs> so fish brew in the water there, boy. Nice. And the man said, Life can't get better, boy. Yeah, man, you can go in. And hey, can I get better than this? Arjun, enjoying the day, bye? Yeah, buddy. All the time. You sure? Yeah, man. All right. I'm going to buy Avinashe, bye. Champagne. Champagne, bye. <laughs> we're drinking black water. <laughs> and we're minding our own business, right? Yeah. You got to tune like that, you know? Drink water and mind my own business. How does it sound, sir? How are you, of course? It's striking. Yeah, yeah. She's fishing. Fish. Every... Once we got a big fish on the line. Really up, really up. <laughs> hey. Life. It's good. Can't get better than this. 
Tomorrow is Sunday. I gonna sleep all day. Monday morning, I go in for the container for them boats, you know. And after that, we coming back here on another adventure. Right down here in this Mahaika River here. We are in the park. And look who are running to here, boy. A good partner of mine. What's your name again? Jaden. Jaden, yeah. Watch your bike. Get a football. <laughs> so, we come out here to look at the guys them practice, you know. And across here, we have Crusade. Later on tonight, all right? And look across here. We have all the girls and the boys practicing football, you know. These folks are serious. They mean business, you know. When it comes to footballing. Wah! These girls have a special set of skills. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. All right. Man, look at my hat, you know. Miss Joyce Andrews, Toshao's mom. Auntie Joyce, thank you so much. She made this hat, she handcraft this hat specially for me. And thank you so much for gifting me this hat. I feel so honored and so privileged to wear it. All right? I know I am truly an Amerindian man from Pakuri Mission. All right? Life couldn't get any better than this. Man. And as I look at the guys them practicing here, look at the clouds, look at the sky. So amazing. The sunset faded. And look at the lingering sunset around. So amazing, so beautiful. All right. Another day. Good morning, boy. Look at the streets of Georgetown. Look at the traffic here. This is like morning peak hour traffic. All right. And don't forget. In the meantime, we got the container there, you know, with all them boots, right in there, there. All right, I got my man fish pro here. Come, you come collect your boat, or what? I must. Where you fishing? You fishing? First, I launch your boat, right? Yeah, Board right. <laughs> it, brother. Board it. The container is here, finally. And let me show you the operation right now. You can hire these guys here anytime to transport the container. All right. It's gonna be easy for us to offload to be stopped. Let the rest of us to the ground. Discharge. Now look what's going on here, boy. When you're talking about boats, it's boats, you know. Shot my want the boat? Yeah, yeah. All right, you go paddle by your backyard, there, boy. <laughs> you got a lot of boats here, you know. All right. Couldn't get better than this, here, boy. Now look what's going on. We get a first customer. We get a customer come buy a boat. What's going on, my friend? Can you tell me your friends? Give up. Yes. And you said, who encouraged you to come to this country? I am here, I already encourage you to come yeah. to the island. Yeah. So you're here on vacation. Yeah. Where, where are you from? Where are you living? I live in Antigua. So you just come all the way from Antigua to Guyana. She come in search of ARD and look, she come buy a boat for me right now. <laughs> What's your name? Monica. Monica. Monica Lewinsky? Monica Rashford. Monica Rashford, not Lewinsky. <laughs> but, <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you, darling. You're enjoying your stay so far? Yeah, yeah. So my friend come to Guyana, she come search her house to buy because she's moving back to Guyana. <laughs> and all because of ARD, you're moving back here. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. We can be neighbors. Find a house next to me to buy, right? <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, yes. Hey, so the goodness continue. I want to say a special thank you to all you guys who made contributions here, you know, the wheelchair. But by being Rocky, donated two wheelchair to Stratevan Masjid. And the Passat family from Okala, Passat and Singh. Donated a wheelchair and a walking stick to 
Auntie Leela from Mon Repose. His barrel was donated from a Bayraj and baby and the two lovely daughters, Priya and Tina. Tina. And I want to say a special thank you to everybody who donated and to the people who donated the um, hand sanitizer. Thank you to you guys too. My son, that got it from somebody, all right? And everybody else, Mr. and Mrs. Singh and Mr. and Mrs. Cromwell, all who would have sent in here the gift to the people in need. I want to say thank you guys very much. So finally, the boat is here. We're gonna go Sipperoni, we're gonna go Rockstone, wherever we're gonna go fishing. These boats not only gonna use for fishing, they're also gonna be used to transport food hampers to the people in the rivering area. You know, I had wanted to come to Abari River, but I couldn't because I don't have a boat. I've been to Mahaika River. So now I can come to Abari or Maikoni or Mahaika River because we got you on boat now, right? So I want to thank you guys very much, all the donors. I hope you guys are being positive and safe. Um, you know, continue to be kind, continue to do your act of kindness. I want to once again thank you all the viewers for watching. Thank you for your valuable time. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been positive. Take care of you and those around you. God bless you. Peace out. And I will see you on the next adventure.